Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the uh, review and look of the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 15.014 This is of course one of those builds for the creators update and it was released yesterday January 19th, 2017 So uh, what is new and what's interesting in this build this is what we're going to check out. Uh, first thing that you noticed when you actually have, well, okay, it installed well, first of all, from uh, scratch, and no issues, no blue screens. Uh, the uh, install went very, very well. And basically, um, after that, it came into the desktop. This build seems to work really well for me. Uh, like the previous one, um, we had build uh, 15007 that was also a pretty good build for me so um, this is something that seems pretty interesting but of course like every build there are some issues uh, so of course we'll be checking that out for sure sorry once again for the quality of the video I had to use a camera instead of uh, the um, recording for the uh, desktop uh, recorder because of uh, some problems that I'm having but I will, uh, in the next build, in the next build, it should be uh, pretty much fixed. So, what is new in this build? There's a few little things. Um, it is, first of all, visible on the bottom left. You can see that the search box in Cortana has actually been changed in color to a lighter gray color instead of a dark gray color. So this is something that um, apparently people have been asking for, saying they want to have a different um, look to the Cortana box. So it's still the same good old Cortana box and you can click in it and type in it and ask all sorts of things. But it of course has um, a few things that, uh, you know, mostly the color and Cortana has a few things also that has been added in this build uh, in, uh, you know, the um, usage basically and the commands that you can give Cortana to Windows 10. Um, one of the first main things that happened is in the store, the Windows Store now has a ebook um, store. So basically, if you were waiting to buy some ebooks through Windows, now you will have ebooks available through this store. So this is uh, really um, something nice that a lot of people wanted to have. Now the ebook store is not available to every market as you see here in my market in Canada I don't have the ebook store available yet I believe and Microsoft did say you know there are a few things that are not there yet so uh, check it out. Oh here's a reading room so maybe here reading room there we go enjoy your favorite books so here there's a few things but it's mostly uh, apps that bring it. There's no, uh, you know, in the US you guys have a real uh, ebook store and you can actually purchase a book. Uh, and of course, because of that, Edge now has the capability of also reading EPUB, which is the, the electronic format of pretty much every book. So if you don't want to read a book in Windows 10, well, your uh, Edge browser can do this now. Also, um, there's a few customizations um, in, uh, of course, Cortana. There's bigger text uh, available now in the Action Center. People were complaining it was a little small sometimes. Now the text has been bigger here. In the settings, um, one of the things that you can now do in personalization, and once again, this is something that not everybody has, but if you have the teams, um, some people have in the colors the possibility to really choose a custom color and rather than a... Um, so here's the automatic, but you know this is like the... Re this is a palette of colors and the... Um, in, in some versions of Windows 10 there's now a possibility of actually picking a custom accent color so uh, basically with a custom accent color if you click here 
we have this palette of colors that you see here. So um, as you see, you just click the color in that palette of colors and you simply, uh, then you have a slider here that you can change how dark or light the color is. You can enter directly the RGB uh, colors numbers here, red, green, blue. You can also uh, input the hexadecimal number of a color. You can preview it. So if you click the preview, it will show you what it looks like. And uh, so this is a new way of now <clears throat> getting your favorite colors instead of having just a set fixed uh, set of colors. You now have a full palette that's available, which is pretty uh, interesting. In uh, <coughs> sorry, in the disk space and the storage, there's an automatic uh, setting now. So when you um, want to free up space with the uh, disk space, the disk um, um, storage on your uh, Windows 10 machine, there's now a automatic and um, kind of a a new feature that will ask you if you want to uh, erase every 30 days, for example, the recycle bin, which will be done automatically instead of you having to do it manually. Um, there's merge Wi-Fi settings under Wi-Fi settings now. So if you go here, let's uh, go to the settings again. If uh, we go into network and internet, uh, in the Wi-Fi settings, they've actually changed a little bit of the menu here. So now there's merge Wi-Fi services and hotspots and all sorts of stuff. So Wi-Fi services uh, under settings, network and internet. Um, you might not see on Wi-Fi sense, but it's uh, also um, still there in the features. So a few little new things here in this uh, Wi-Fi. Um, settings panel. A uh, new battery, um, if you look here, this says fully charged and you can actually uh, use a battery saver option. So let's uh, see if I have it because not all versions of Windows 10 have the new slider because there's a new slider for power efficiency. I'm just going to try it on batteries and see if it is there. Uh, I'm plugging this for a few seconds to uh, see if by any chance I do have a slider or not. So now I'm on batteries and if I look at uh, the options, um, you see battery saver mode on, but I don't have the slider. Uh, in some versions there is here in the panel a slider that you actually can adjust from um, left to right to enable the uh, battery saving mode in the computer and really tweak it to the best that you can. This is something that uh, apparently manufacturers actually wanted to uh, add to this uh, version of Windows. Microsoft did say not every version has it. I don't have it on mine and so uh, some of you do, some of you don't. So check it out on your battery. You might have that little slider for customization of the uh, power usage of Windows 10. Apart from that, um, there are a few uh, UI that options that have been added here and there uh, just to tweak a little bit. But apart from that, you know, it's uh, I would say pretty much what we have new in here in this build, and of course. Uh, not uh, not a lot of stuff to talk about. Apart from that, it works fine. It's really, really solid. Uh, been rock solid for me anyways. Uh, they fixed a few things. So what are fixed? You may see that the mail app pinned to the taskbar after uh, updating to build 15014. The mail app is now pinned by default and I didn't notice because it was not in the taskbar as you see here at the bottom. Uh, so you can unpin if you don't want it. Some of uh, a more near nerdy insiders notice that the build branch string and timestamp have been replaced with static values in the versions of the OS uh, binaries. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, improved keyboard accessibility, up updated the snipping tool 
So things like that. Fixed issues resulting in work on working on update screen and unexpectedly showing a box instead of a progress wheel. Fixed issue where desktop shortcuts containing that uh, percentage character, usually URLs didn't work or crashed the Explorer EXC. You fix an issue where projecting to a secondary monitor could result in the Explorer crash. They fix an issue, Control C to copy in a command prompt didn't work. Made some polish adjustment to the background settings and printer and scanner settings page. They fixed issues where insiders may have experience uh, on their laptops with bug check or blue screen and green screen basically. Uh, out of the box experience, so the new install screen uh, tweaked a little bit. Now uh, you have a few more options and there was a problem with the skip this step uh, there. Fixed uh, mirror cast issues, not working on uh, recent builds. Fixed issues with notifications uh, and after dismissing a first notification, uh, immediately opening the action center, that notification toast would show up on the action center and rather within the action center. Adjusted the action center icon animation logic, so no longer see the same app logo flash multiple times. Um, there's a few things about the VPN network and flyout that have been fixed. Uh, display, when you were actually changing the brightness in the stem display and the settings app, uh, they would un unexpectedly revert, revert to the default. They fixed a ton of other issues. Uh, what are the known issues here important? The download progress indicator shown when downloading this build is broken. So in the settings, update and security, Windows update, it may look like you're getting stuck at zero or other percentage. Ignore the indication and be patient. The build will download fine. So if you see you're stuck at zero percent and the update of a build and it doesn't seem to do nothing, it actually is downloading. It's just that the uh, progress bar is broken here, so be careful. Um, if you up, after updating this build, non-stop exceptions in the Spectrum.exe may occur if the PC to lose audio and disk usage become very high. So uh, Edge can become unresponsive. Just restart. During install of this build, insiders insiders may experience a stop port that system bug check green screen causing them to roll back to previous build. No fix for now, so if you have that problem, no fix. Um, so some PCs, audio stops working sporadically with device and use error. They are wondering, still don't know exactly why that happens. Under setting update security, Windows update, you may see the text, some settings are managed by the organization. This is uh, something that we had a few last builds, so when you look at the updates and security, here you see some settings are hidden or managed by your organization. That that just shouldn't be there. Netflix app may crash upon launch, but if you try again, it should work. Uh, Quicken 2016 will fail. Also, uh, the game dot two will fail to launch and pop up a message unable to start game. Using Edge with Narrator, you may hear no item in view. There are a few IDPI settings that are not right. Uh, holographic entry in the main page settings, of course, uh, it's there for me. So apparently, it might uh, it, it shouldn't show up necessarily here. Uh, a few things like that, but um, dragging apps from all, all the app list pinned to starts uh, tile grid won't work for now. You can right click to do this, and there are of course a few uh, things that Cortana may uh, actually. I have uh, some problems like uh, saying, hey, Cortana play uh, doesn't work immediately. Might take a few minutes before it does. These are some of the things that were also in the last build. But overall, it's uh, it's an okay build. Works fine. Um, haven't had really a lot of issues with it, or at least no issues at all in my case. Uh, it actually seems even better than the last build. Last build, I had a lot of uh, intermittent Wi-Fi issues that uh, the internet seemed to be kind of sluggish. Uh, that doesn't seem to happen right now, so I guess uh, these are probably fixed uh, on this build. So, Windows 10, Insider Preview build 15014, uh, seems to be a pretty good build. Of course, as usual, remember that you can have glitches and problems with builds, as they are unfinished software. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hope you enjoyed this little review of the latest build of Windows 10.
build 15014 uh, were released for the fast ring um, yesterday, January 19th.